Hey everybody, I'm Ken, and welcome back to Lake House Garage. Continuing on with our precedent build, this time I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the differential oil in your precedent. It's pretty easy and it won't take that long. All right, so we're gonna get the cart in the garage and we're gonna show you how to get this done. All right, guys, now that you can see, we're here under the cart and what we're looking at is our rear diff. We're looking for two plugs here, one right here. This is our drain, one right here. This is our fill port, all right? So we're gonna come in here with a drain pan. We're gonna come in here with a 19 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen this up. Shouldn't be that tight. It's just a, it's just a plug, it's not a bolt. We're gonna try to not drop it in the oil. Try to not make a mess. All right, now the reason I didn't take the top plug out yet is because I didn't want it to squirt all over the place. All right, now that I got the plug out of the way, I could open up this top bolt and vent it a little bit using the same 19 millimeter socket. And we can just open it up, give it some air. Let that oil just drain on through. Doesn't look too bad, but it's old. You can tell it's brown. All right, you can see she's almost done draining. I'm gonna take a look at this plug here. See all that on top of there? All this schmutz right here, that's all dirt and everything. Uh, this is a magnet on the end of this drain plug. So any shavings or whatever's going on in there, it's gonna stick this magnet instead of rolling around inside the differential. So we're gonna clean this plug off and we're going to reinstall it back into the axle. All right, now you can see the magnet a little bit better now that we got it all cleaned off. So now we're just gonna reinstall it. Let's go ahead and clean this off a little bit here. Wipe up our mess here. Don't want no drips. Now we're just gonna snug it down. Snug it down. It's just a plug, it's not a bolt. There's a gasket on here. That's it, just snugging it down. It's just a plug. All right guys, the oil that we're going with today is the Valvoline Full Synthetic 7590. Now keep in mind, this is for my specific application. You know, we put the, the plumb quick motor upgrade in there, and now we got the, the lift kit on there, and we're fixing to put the uh, seat on here. So uh, we need a little bit more support from our oil with all this, uh, all this demand that we're gonna put on the rear axle. But just know that the manufacturer, Club Car, does recommend uh, SAE 30 in their differentials. So check with your owner's manual and to see what they recommend for your specific application. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little comparison here of the oil that came out of the axle compared to the new oil. Let's see how kind of dirty she is. Look at all that dirt in there you can see swirling around. And here's the new oil. The new oil is supposed to look just like golden honey. All right, now we can come in with our new oil. This comes in a bag, so it can be kind of tricky to get it in there, you just kinda gotta do it quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up, we're gonna stick this nozzle in this hole, we're gonna fill this rear end up until it starts pouring out of this hole. That's how we know that we're full. All right, so here we go. Let's try not to make a mess. All right, you can see it's dripping out of the hole. We're gonna let that calm down a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and put the plug back in. So the level of the oil is gonna end up being right at the bottom of this hole. All right, that's how you get it there. All right, she looks like she's slowing down. We're gonna clean the plug off. We're gonna reinstall the plug. Come in here with our 19 millimeter socket, and snug this down, and there it is. Now we're gonna clean up our mess. Make it look all nice and pretty. All right, and we're done. Okay guys, there you go. That's how to change the rear end oil in your precedent. It's pretty easy, only takes about 15 minutes. This is part of a bigger build series. If you haven't uh, subscribed, why don't you do that below. If you haven't checked out the rest of the series, go to my channel. I have a whole playlist down there of everything we're doing to this cart. And we'll see you next time. And as always, thank you for subscribing to the channel. The support really means a lot. Thank you.